was sail beautiful people. So quick energy check in, but actually also a quiz. I'm on the move today. Um and I was I thought I would lay out the five cards that kind of spell out where I'm going, but also to use those cards to describe today's energy. So we have Os, Four, and then Raid, Five, Ken, Six. So just Four, Five, and Six, if they were coming out in a reading, you would assume it's a natural progression. And then we have 17, Tiv, and 19, Eh. So, there's something about this that talks about going on a radical journey. Now, radical is a word that has become quite, it's because of the raid. Radical, rad. There's something about that energy that talks about something that's been contained. To be radical, to have new ideas, is what makes humanity grow. And yet, in recent history, you know, you can go, ooh, they're a radical. And really we should say, wow, they're radical. They're coming up with new ways of being, living, thinking, exploring. So there's something about a divine spark on all of your cells. This is about all of the cells being each atom, an unhatched cosmic egg of unmatched mystical potential to rise up is to speak up to be radical but not offensive just to be to be your truth so there's something in this about radical self-acceptance of one's own truth i looked up then a particularly important number and that's also interesting um Synchronicities of numbers can become tired and they can eventually lead you into spiritual cul-de-sacs. Um, my current one that I run into all the time because of Lift Rumour is the number 13. And I followed a series of 13s recently and they led me to quite a traumatic attempted triggering, which I didn't rise to. But I'm now beginning to see that if numbers total 13 but are not 13 themselves then they tend to hold more interesting energies because there's something about seeing your current your comfort numbers that become stale if you can see them created through different fractions of numbers they hold more divine potential because there's something about a synchronicity that's absolute that becomes jaded and worn out. And so we somehow need to search a little deeper for the numbers or the synchronicities, the signs, so that we transform them into our divine and radical journey. And then these two here, they're talking about moving with compassion, moving with forgiveness, moving with comfort. Remember, Tia always represents somebody who accepts mm, a sort of like it's not really the loss of status, but it's the acceptance of allowing others their opinion 
Um, and Tyr is comfortable in his own power because Tyr knows. Tyr's been everywhere. Tyr's done everything. So the other two cards that came out that I wanted to just show you were Candle and Condal. Because obviously these are all letter C. Hard C, like a K for K. And there's something here about the notion that you could have this energy of cosmic doubt and you can have this energy of your day star. This is like accepting your own radical acceptance. And so that feels also like a really important message. So is there anything else that we need to add here? Taking flight, uh, divine flight, energy wings, that's what they're saying to me. So the horse, the flying Pegasus inside this card is talking about how in many cards like horse, get off the horse that you're riding on and become your own horse, but become your own divine flying horse by releasing the doubt you have. Phoenix moment, it's almost like your phoenix is a flying horse. To journey with your own divinity, to express yourself with your truth. Oh, I'm just noticing that this is six and six as well, but it's like, the divine spark is a six, but there's something within us that's the divine spark of a four and two. Again, that story of the fraction. So change the way you perceive your numbers, your synchronicities. Look for new synchronicities. Allow newer messages to come through. Oh, and look, there's a four, four, four. Release yourself from any Jupiter trap. So. The Jupiter trap is coming across as that energy where your synchronicities begin to deceive you and that need to seek a newness to pass through that energy. So I'm off shortly, I've got to pack. I'm just gonna show you the view outside before I leave because it really is so beautiful. There were clouds this morning when I was having breakfast and I thought, oh, that's perfect. When I come to my room, I'll be able to do a video with the Mediterranean behind me, but then the sun came out. <laughs> and I like the sun to come out because it's life force. So I'll show you the journey, the journey. I'll show you the view outside and then I'm gonna set off on my journey. You might need a map to work out the answer to the quiz. So for now, for sale. All those giant ships. 